Hi, I'm Bonnie Cha, Senior Associate Editor at CNET.com, and today we're taking a first look at the T-Mobile Wing. This is one of the first Windows Mobile 6 smartphones shipping in the U.S., and obviously it's with T-Mobile. It'll replace the MDA. They've revamped the design a little bit. It has this soft touch finish, so it has kind of a rubbery texture, and it's blue instead of silver. They rearranged the keys here. It's easier to use, I think. You've got this nice spacious toggle. And if you slide the phone, you got a new QWERTY keyboard. You've got square keys instead of oval-like keys. Pretty easy to use, although I wish there was more spacing between the keys for easier texting and instant messaging. Some of the features inside, you've got Windows Mobile 6, obviously. So you get a new calendar view and more email functionality, uh, such as a search function. Also, it has IM clients as well as multimedia. There wasn't a huge improvement in multimedia, but you can still listen to music and videos. Also, there's a two megapixel camera on the back, which took some decent pictures. Overall, call quality was good. However, it's a little sluggish, especially when you have numerous applications open. So also, it's only running on edge speeds for internet access. So it's kind of slow compared to 3G phones like the Singular 8525. At launch, it'll be $299.99 with a two-year contract. And it's a powerful smartphone for T-Mobile. Otherwise, take a look at the Singular 8525 because of the 3G speeds. I'm Bonnie Chan. This has been the T-Mobile Wing.